Hello everybody, it's the City Med Haven here today, and there's a couple of things to talk about today. You know, I'm I'm tired, I just got out of the shower, I like awesome, I've got my, I got my water, good water. Good water. So, I've been keeping track of a lot of the stuff that the dev team has been doing, and honestly, it's uh, kind of a big letdown, in all honesty. Each time I jump on tanks anymore, I just, I, I don't want to play it, you know, and that's, that's what it's coming to right now. It's just, each time I jump on, they keep on doing something different and it just ruins in everyone and anyone's experience. Um, for instance, as I take uh, a sweet amount of time adding an image to this real quick, there's a lot of things going on right now that just, they need to address this being one of them it you know they they talked about the the peer matchmaking where you're supposed to be lined up but then uh, how do how does this line up for anyone you know like they recently buffed the panzer 58 mutts they recently buffed the uh what's it called the uh m48 rom panzer and the rom panzer is literally uh something i played the other day as well and Overall, I'm I'm just here. You you guys can watch it. This was the number one thing I mentioned. That's going to be the biggest fallback for the Romponzer. That the buff they gave it wasn't the buff it needed, dude. If they buff if they debuff artillery and drop their penetration, this tank will do amazing. Keep in mind, it's a bat chat on the enemy team. I'm full health. Not full health anymore. Aim for the tracks. Boom! There's one shell. Immediately. Down to 160 hit points. And guess what? Since it's a bat chat artillery, there comes the second. Less than a minute and a half into the match, and I'm already out of the game. Really? If if you want to make matchmaking better, what what's what's the worst that can happen by trying three three five seven? You know, like, let's see what it's like. To have 357 in rotation for a week. Clearly, you guys have your class based matchmaking, you have your peer matchmaking, you have your platoon matchmaking that you did for years. And, you know, why not just give it a try? Instead of just saying, PC community hates this, PC community hates that, PC community hates this, hates that. We're not PC community, we're console. And I watched Clone Guy's video the other day, and he talked about the uh, platoons. Honestly, I've, I've mentioned my opinion on five-man platoons. Imagine five of me on a team on a good day. That's just, you know, like, whenever we had five-man teams, um, my group was able to maintain win rates in the range of, like, 80% some days to 90% some days. So, really, honestly, I don't want to see five-man platoons come back unless it's ranked gameplay. If it's ranked gameplay with 15 versus 15 five-man platoons and it happens during the weekend, oh, heck, yeah, I'm totally down. But for every day, no, nah, three men's good enough. Um, but the matchmaker, it's just... It, there's a couple of things I'd like to see changed. And personally, K91 version 2, this tank right here, completely underrated. Um, I did my first impression of the tank. Honestly, the only problem this tank has is right here. 85 millimeters underneath the tracks, and then on the side of those, you're looking at 120. So if they shoot you in the tracks, more than likely they're going to pin unless you're coming around a corner like this. And then they try to shoot the tracks. You can bait some shells into it, but don't try it. I have tried it multiple times. It doesn't work out too well. Other than that, let's go ahead. Let's jump into some gameplay. K91 version 2. I just need time to revamp my, my drive for the game. That's all it is, you guys. I have just burnt myself out tenfold on the game and I'm struggling to maintain every single day because that's that's one thing about it. You know, it's just it, I, I'm a client. I'm somebody you want to keep. I'm somebody you want to maintain. And whenever there's other games that come out, new stuff that comes out, it's like, yeah, I'm going to go check them out. But the thing is, there's always that game I come back to. World of Tanks is that game. Currently, I've been playing Star Trek Online, jumping back on that game. And honestly, the new dev team that took over Star Trek, they've done a lot of really cool things. And not going to lie, I'm investing a lot more time into Star Trek. The game that I quit two years ago, 
because the devs just didn't do anything. And now they're doing a whole lot. Honestly, the game right now on Star Trek is amazing. And I think I'm going to play it a lot more. So, currently, uh, another thing to talk about. The uh, Arachi and the Orthus. The Orthus, uh, the KV-4 KTTS, uh, the three-shot autoloader, it is just far much... It's so much worse than the actual regular KV-4 KTTS variant. The, the regular version can get five shells off in the, in the time it takes you to fully reload and clip out. The, the regular version can get five shots off. Honestly, the regular version is just the way to go compared to the Orthus. I don't know why that came out in that state or not. And then the Arachi, uh, you know, Japan. If I had sound bits, I'd be playing some Japanese music out of nowhere. But I, I don't. I'm a little bit lazy on that. But the Orthus has got the best 100 millimeter in the game. 330 alpha, 6.5 second reload, 3,000 DPM guaranteed. It's literally the best 100 millimeter in the game. And this tank currently, the K91 version 2, only has 2,500 uh, DPM. So that gives you an idea on just the difference that there is between the two tanks. And hopefully my team behind me can provide a little bit of assistance right here. But lovely. Thank you for putting the shot in it. So helpful. Uh, KV-85. Can't remember if uh, we still had the broken version or not. Let's put it 241. But then again, you know, this thing's got some crazy heat pin while the Arachi only has uh, 252 pins. So it's not exactly... A big advantage on the Arachi's part. Yo. Hey, how you doing? Um, the alpha buffs on the uh, Panzer and the M48 Ron Panzer. Yeah, it's alright. It's alright. Honestly, the alpha's nice. Kind of sad they didn't read just a reload. Because now you have the uh, LPC, which is just feeling left behind with an 8 second reload with its single shot. And then just a okay. couple of things that they can do better. Um... Other than that, I'm just really... I, I need to get my drive again for the game because it, it has officially left me. I've been... My streams for the game have essentially just outright stopped and overall... It, it's going to take a little while for me to really be able to get back into the game without a problem. But currently I'm struggling with it. I jump on, I play, but doing YouTube and everything else, it, it just takes so much out of me. I, like It's literally taking a lot just to maintain it. Like, the, maintain the drive, that is. I just haven't had a drive for it for a while. So I'm letting you guys know. Give me some time. The drive might kick back in. And hopefully um, the dev team starts actually uh, adjusting stuff properly rather than just... Uh, I, I have a few things I would say, but they're not nice. Now, alright. I need to start really focusing on the match and what's going on right now. Because I am the only one here. It is 11 versus 9, but that can change pretty quick if I'm not paying attention. So, yeah, brain farts. Oh, Strav. We pull up right here. We're being targeted, which means Strav actually might be. No? Ah, uh, I can't remember. 290 or 280 heat pen? I think it's 290 heat pen. That I got. Amazing heat. What's up with my reload? Stuck at zero? Am I loaded? Was loaded. Okay, that was weird. Uh, let's go ahead and do a drop down. What do we have behind us? We have a SU-100 and an ISU-152K and a Fortress. Fortress is not a bad tank. It's got a really good reload in Alpha. I have no gun depression. Alright, let's uh go further left. There should be a um, kind of a flat spot coming up right over here. I don't want to just full send it over top. I, I got a repair kit. I could probably risk it. It's the last thing I want to do, though. Uh, there is the Strav. Let's go ahead and overmatch as we miss completely. And T32. T32 is going to be a little bit uncomfortable, but let's go ahead and just pull up and bounce. Let's go ahead and start backing off, because he's definitely going to be getting aggressive. Last thing I want to do is uh, give him an easy shell. There we go. Good turret on the K91 version 2. Probably going to load a heat shell since we're below him. That hatch is really hard to pin. I get to go back to standards. Is that the straw? I am struggling to aim. Okay. Hellcat. M56 Scorpion. And good game. That's definitely a good game.
1,185 damage. Not a lot of damage, but the assist is kind of what I went for each time I end up on highway on that spawn. I usually try and go for assist and helping out the TDs in the backside. That match went really well. Second class mastery. Uh, this tank must be doing amazing. And Basante in first. I feel bad for that person. He must have tried his absolute heart out to do that. Unless they buff the reload of it. If not, the tank is still horrible. So, yeah, it, it just limited. Really limited. There is the matchmaking issues that are going on right now, which I'm actually waiting to end up as the only tier 8 on my team, in all honesty, while recording live. But you see, it's because I'm recording live that I'm going to get matches that are top tier every single time. You know, like, whatever I stream, my first match of the day is immediately bottom tier the only bottom tiers in the entire matchup, like the screenshot you saw at the very beginning, that was literally the last time I streamed. And after that stream, I just, I didn't play tanks. And it's, it's because every single time they try to do something different and they jump on and then just, I don't have words for this. You guys can probably tell by how much we're struggling right now to even talk about it. You know, we, we've given them multiple solutions and ways to fix things. Just copy PC for once. Give it a try. The community might not be negative about the 357 matchmaking. You know, worst possible match for a tier 8, you see three tier 10s. That is the worst possible matchmaking. I don't even care if those three tier 10s are all three E4s. Because guess what? There's only three of them. There's not 13 of them. So for me, that's, that's kind of where I stand on it. Because the matchmaker... It's been horrible. And my primary tier that I play, I, I don't have fun whenever I play my 10s. Whenever I play my 10s, they're they're top of the tree. They're the top dogs. There's your your top dog. You know, you you're guaranteed top tier every single time. I, that's not fun for me. I want the matches where like tier eight for me, tier eight is now my number one. My number one used to be tier seven that I played all the time. And I never played the overpowered tier sevens, you know, like I I don't even own the uh, actually, I do own the T29 still. But before I did the review of the T29, I never bought it back because to me it was a powerful tank. It was a seal clubber. I'm one of the guys that likes to play those tanks that you just don't see often. And I I enjoy them because you don't see them often. You know, they have a different play style. Or I like to play the worst tanks inside of a category because I like to prove people wrong that they're actually really decent tanks. Which, don't get me wrong, takes quite the amount of work to be able to do that correctly. But that's that's what the entire game about is for me. The effort that I put in to be able to do that. Let's go ahead and aim for the engine tracks. I really want to track out these light tanks. 1357s. There are so many of them. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and start loading in the HE. Because we're going to need to do... Is that a death cliff? Alright, we'll put a 25 in the him with a high explosive. Enemy damage, critical hit, so we hit somebody the uh, blind shot right there. Nice. Hello, artillery. It's so nice to meet you. I actually wasn't that. Yeah, uh, you know what? 200 damage from uh, M44. That is quite a bit, actually. Uh. Felt balanced. Though. That was actually a balanced artillery hit. That wasn't like, oh, I'm, I'm dead. That was actually a balanced hit. Now, here we go. We got a comet. Uh, maybe it was a comet that I blind fired. Uh, take over. Ah! We should probably load the heat rounds. <laughs> load the heat rounds into tier 6. That's just absolute punishment and absolute seal club to the fullest. I don't really need them. So we got 286. What do we got in this one there? Trailblazer. He's getting too far. There we go. I think some shots there. There we go. That was a good, uh, good lead. Alright, so now we got the Strum Tiger P. I don't remember if they buffed the armor on that or not. We'll find out once I pull around the corner here. I think they might have, though. Yeah, they buffed it. Let the heat. Did they buff that to 250 or not? I can't remember if they did. Enemy 
Oh, this is a this is a mistake. I'm making a mistake. Or am I? I, I maybe, maybe. He can overmatch my side armor, I believe. That's one thing I really don't want to get hit by. It is eight to five right now. Ah, artillery. We're going to pop that repair kit and get on the move. Do not want to get tracked out. Even though it's only seven to five right now. Okay. We got below us a Strav. Hey, how you doing? And artillery on the move like that. Are you kidding me? See, and that's another thing. Artillery's accuracy and the amount that they can hit you is just redonkulous. It's another reason why I've just absolutely stopped. Um, one of the biggest reasons why is because they we now have perks to increase artillery accuracy. And that happened with uh, Update 6.0. Update 6.0 made artillery just almost pinpoint 90% of the time. What do we got? KB4 Dragon? Alright. I'm a one-shot because artillery and the straw both hit me. I wasn't expecting the straw to get a shot at me. That was my fault. I kind of pulled out in front of him. Should have took a hard right. So now, KV4 and Dragon. We're going to need heat rounds. Head to the far right. Get locked down. What's my reload? Okay. 6.2. 2400 DPM, actually. It's not bad DPM. It's enough DPM. The heat penetration by itself makes up for the... Uh, Lack of the reload for a 100-250 alpha. Because we got 280 alphas right now with like 6.5. And then 330s with 6.5 as well. So we got really powerful uh, tanks with super ridiculous reloads. Um, Kind of... Uh, yeah, I gotta go in. Or should I just kick back and wait? Kind of wondering what I uh, need to do here. Oh, if I was kicked back and posted a little bit higher up, I would have been able to get shots in the KV-4. And 1v4, Dragon, and 372 hit points. Last thing I want to do is get caught out, so we're going to go ahead and bump up right here. Let's go ahead and get a shot into him. There we go. That's a good lineup. Three thousand four hundred and seventy-three damage dealt. Fired mainly standards. I mean, don't get me wrong; it was like abusing tier sixes by this point. But it, it is it is what it is. How much did I ricochet? Ah, seven hundred and sixty. So not a whole lot. Eight, eight shots received, and four of them were from artillery. Ow, Artie. Well, you guys, I just wanted to jump on, let you know my opinion right now. Um, I'm done with uh, the console Discord, keeping up with them. It's just like inside my Discord, I get announcements and I'll look at those. And then whatever pops up on the news feed. Honestly, with the French tanks going on, um, they're on track. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, as that's actually starting today. Yeah, that's right. Um, another thing is... One thing that I approve of heavily is doing entire lines like a premium bonus. You know, that 50% silver, 50% experience. In my personal opinion, I believe that double silver for tier 10s is the most toxic thing that you can do. Because it ruins the game. Honestly, what they need to do is rather than double silver tier 10, double silver tier 9. Or only select a few tanks every single week for the on track or like tanks that you're grinding out label those as the only tanks that can get 50% bonus experience or 50% bonus silver every single match rather than events where every single tier 10 benefits because when that happens no one wants to play their eights no one wants to play their nines and it makes it to where playing a tier eight completely useless imagine you're new to the game and you're grinding out a tier eight and also tier 10 double silver is going on yeah you're, you're better off going and playing call of duty or playing uh, FIFA, if you play FIFA. You're just playing into the game. It pushes people away. I, I know this because I've talked to a few guys that they got their Tier 9. Double Silver Weekend popped up for Tier 10s. They're playing stock, and they're literally the only 9 in the entire lobby. Because everything else is 10s. Everyone's playing their 10s. I think it's the most toxic thing to do with Double Silver Tier 10s. That's why each time they do that event, I don't play the game. 
because I mainly play 8s, 9s, 7s, 6s. I play my 10s quite a bit, but not as much as my 8s. That's what it is. 8s are made to earn silver. Why do you think we spend $50 on a tank? I just, I don't get it. Blows my mind. Other than that, you guys, if you have any recommendations for me or ideas to help me get my drive back, let me know down in the comments. It's been, what, 10 days since I uploaded last, and this one I'm kind of forcing myself to do it. So, there is that. Plus, I've just been working nonstop, tripping and getting hurt, getting stabbed in the chest, and a massive gash in my shin. Also, getting the back of my freaking arm cut up, and yeah, I've just been busy and tired. Tired of the devs on freaking tanks as well, because... I'm kind of at that point where I'm on the verge of quitting because they're doing nothing about the game. They're doing nothing about the matchmaking. Even though they say they're doing something about the matchmaking, clearly it's working. Uh, today's matches, the two matches that I'm going to play the entire day because I'm quitting the game after I'm done with this because I just don't want to play it. I'm, I, I don't have the drive to play right now. It's, you know, they're, they're a company that wants to gain the attention of people. You know, like, whenever you get home from school or you get off work, you have a choice to play whatever you want to play. You know, and if World of Tanks is that game that suits you, the thing is they're always against you all the time and everything that you say or everything that you do, they label you as toxic. What What is, what's going to bring you back whenever they do something stupid? Like, what what brings you back? Or what is the game that you want to go to currently for me star trek with the new dev team and everything that they've done it has astounded me they've no joke took in some abilities and buffed them by 70 plus percent um you can now get a 100 percent critical hit chance permanently like it's broken broken fun so there is that other i i've repeat i feel like i've repeated myself a thousand more time times today it's just been one of those days you guys have fun. It's been nice. It really has. Two years of doing this. I know I've slowed down a lot the past couple of months. And that's just because every single time I try to jump in and give my recommendations, they always just um, put me on temporary ban for comments or whatever it is. So I'm, I, I've kind of had enough of it. And... I've stopped trying to get in contact with the devs now for like two months because it's just a waste of time. You know, I still get information from the super test. I knew about the Leopard 1 buff like two weeks prior before it even came out. I knew about these max matchmaking tests before they even came out. And I just don't care. It's they they slit their wrists and they're just watching themselves bleed. That's all it is. They don't know how to stop it. You know, they don't know how to ask for help. They just do what they think is right. And one of the one of these days, they're going to drive it into the ground. Unless they take a step forward and start actually taking recommendations from people who've been playing the game for years. You, you, there's a problem with the game whenever the veterans are the ones leaving, not the new players. Whenever the vets leave, that's how you know you messed up. Because those are the ones that have been by your side the entire time. You guys have a good time. I'm out of here. It's just sad to see that this is their plan and what they're doing. So, hopefully things change.